Hi, Libra Anarchy here, responding to Church of Kali, 66619. Hope I got your name right. Not going to say the title of the video because it's a long damn title that I don't even remember. I don't even care to remember it. Uh, basically, the video was a big, a great big long rant about fluff bunnies. Um, uh, the Hindu elements, I can't even respond to it because um, it's just well outside anything I've studied. So, <clears throat> I mean, I have the Bhagavad Gita laying around here somewhere. <laughs> it's in this room, actually. I'll get around to reading it. It's in, a, it's, it's, it's in a pile of books on the floor, but I haven't gotten a chance to read lately because there's a lot of messed up odds and ends going on, which right now, um, I'm, I haven't bathed in a while. And I didn't feel like typing. That's why I'm making the video response. I'm I'm really I'm done typing tonight, except for uh, you know a link in the underbar to what I'm responding to. Um, go to the bathroom before you watch the video. It's a long one. Uh, not this one, but the one I'm responding to. <laughs> I am the de department of redundancy department. Uh, basically, I would like to address one thing you said. Um, I have made the same observation about um, some of the fluffies in the New Age and Wiccan communities uh, being homophobic or transphobic or something like that. And what I've noticed is that they're not honest about it. If somebody hates gays, just or, or if somebody doesn't even hate gay people but are just kind of funny about it and they are kind of homophobic just be honest you know I would much rather somebody say Ugh, it kind of freaks me out instead of blaming the other person oh you're unbalanced oh I have heard it all um, the best label for myself would be gender fluid and I could go on about where I tend to fit into the spectrum um, suffice it to say, physically I'm female, but the mind is not <laughs> physically female, except for a little bit female, which kind of doesn't make a lot of sense unless I wanted to go through the whole spiel, and I don't. Um, you know, I, I, I want to go to bed before sunrise. <laughs> I want to take a shower, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so... Right, what was I going to say? Right, um, I notice a lot of people, um, and, and I, I've gotten this from people who f fancy themselves and portray themselves as being very accepting, very open, and will actually talk with other people about being accepting and open. But then they will say something like transgender or, you know, or, or even gender queer, gay, lesbians, bisexuals, pansexuals, uh, polyamorous people, etc. are unbalanced or in their past life they were one thing and they have not taken the time to acclimate to what they are now. <laughs> like, like it's their fault, like they've done something wrong or they neglected to do something. Or another thing that I've gotten, incidentally, from some, not definitely not all, but a few of the other kin, um, was this thing of, well, you have psychological issues, and you better sort out your gender issues, and then you can come into the other kin community. Uh, this is only this is only an attitude I've gotten from a couple of people, so I don't mean to portray the entire other kin community as, you know transphobic or whatever you want to call it um and likewise m most pagans are pretty open to this sort of thing um i mean in in fact there is even a branch of wicca i i believe uh it's called queer wicca i know i have a couple of gay wiccan subscribers so by all means correct me if i'm wrong but i think there is a branch called queer wicca and it focuses on gay men and uh, sort of the spiritual journey of gay men who are also Wiccans. Um, and uh, so now I think um, 
I believe Gerald Gardner put a lot of emphasis on having um, a sort of balance of energy between male and female, but he was, um, he had pretty prescribed gender roles, and I think he may have been homophobic too. Again, somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, um, but my point is, something that really irks me is the pagans and the New Agers and the spiritualists who are LGBT phobic in one capacity or another aren't honest about it. They won't just say, I don't like those people. They won't just say, we exclude those people. No, they project this whole shtick of being open to the universe, open to other people, um, trying to learn all they can from other people, and they will go on and on about looking at other people as reflections of yourself. For example, if somebody, and of course this can be taken very much to an extreme, and I don't really advocate taking it to an extreme, but I gotta say, um, if, um, okay, let's say you repeatedly get into, um, relationships with people that mooch off you, and you keep doing it again and again and again, well, the common denominator there would be you, wouldn't it? So, yeah, you can take those other people as reflections of, uh, what you do, what you need to work on, so yeah. So, and they will talk about these sorts of things, but then when it comes to LGBT people, they will say, oh, well, you're that way because you're not balanced. I've gotten the whole unbalanced thing. Oh, heavens. <laughs> and, um, or, oh boy, um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I, I'm recalling this, um, very, very bad tarot reading. Well, it, 20 bucks down the hole. And well, live and learn from some lady who is a complete bigot. But she didn't project, or she didn't portray herself as a bigot. She didn't just say, well, gosh, you're asking me about your relationship with your mom and her accepting you and how to help the situation. Well, I don't like you people, so I'm not going to do it. No, what she did is say, oh, well, don't rub it in anybody's face. Huh? What? Um, this wasn't, you know, some sort of situation where I just said, well, I came to Thanksgiving and drag and came out to the entire family or something. It, you know, it wasn't like... You know, I intentionally tried to drop a bomb in anybody's lap when I came out. Okay. Um. It's. I. I don't think I have to tell you. I mean, you rant against. Um. The stupidity of. Of the majority of Christians quite often. And it's. It's very ironic that. You know. I. Oh, it's a lifestyle you're forcing on the rest of us, and it's a choice. Well, funny, Christianity actually is a choice, and <laughs> isn't it funny how for millennia they've been trying to force a Christian lifestyle on the rest of us? Hmm? And some people, some of the Christians, the fundamentalists, are pressing just as hard. And... Some of the, and when I say just as hard, I mean down to the killing people, because there are some that are, you know, shooting abortion doctors. Um, or there are some that are just, uh, not taking their children to doctors because they're trying to pray the sickness away. Um, there are some that will, um, that are against, um, you know, anti-bullying stuff in schools because they want, you know, they think it's okay to, 
you know, bully LGBT students, even though sometimes the students are committing suicide. Well, I've gotten off topic, and I'm going to try to hurry this along, because if I'll get cut off if I don't. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the dishonesty that bothers me. It's like, if you're not open-minded, don't, don't tell me you're open-minded. If you're not open-minded, I'll stay away from you, and we can just go on our merry ways, and I'll live my life, and leave you alone, and goodness gracious, have the courtesy to leave me alone. Fine. I don't care. I have better things to do. But, you, but, goodness gracious, this, this whole projection thing, oh, it's not me. At least the fundies will, like, like Westboro Baptist Church, at least they will hold up signs saying, God hates fags. Well, of course, they're putting their hate in the mouth of a mystical sky daddy, but they at least will be honest about what they think and who they hate. They will actually hold up signs saying, um, what is it? God bless IEDs or whatever the explosives are. They, God, thank God for dead soldiers. At least they're honest about what they're doing. I mean, at least they have the brass to say this shit. And I don't admire them, mind you. I, they're horrible people. I mean, for what they're doing to their kids, holy shit. You know, you, you don't bring kids to protest where you're saying this kind of shit, because you know somebody's going to throw a rock or a bottle or some goddamn shit, and it's going to hit the kid. Or, you know, one of the kids. Come on. You don't you don't indoctrinate kids into this shit, and you don't take them to these protests like that. Come on. But anyway. Sorry, a, a different rant. I mean, but at least those people that low are honest about what they think. Whereas you have a lot of these fluff bunnies that think in a similar way about LGBT people, and they won't just admit it. They prattle on about balance and and past lives and and you know, some kind of oh your energy's wrong for the group, or you know just as long as you're not oh you know. You're just doing this for attention, or da 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 da, or it's a, you have psychological issues and you need to sort those out, etc., and so on and so forth. It is just really fucking dishonest. Okay, well, I'm gonna quit ranting now. I'm gonna fucking. Hopefully, I can take a shower without too much discomfort, and you know, I, I'll see you guys later. And, by the way, if, I, if I'm kind of a, if I'm completely unresponsive on Skype next time I'm on, I apologize in advance. It's not the least bit personal. Um, and I will do my best to keep you guys updated, but if I just poof on YouTube as well, then it may mean that I've, I'm having, you know, I've had so, shoulder surgery and I'm recovering, but I don't know if I need that. I... I don't know, I'll try to keep you guys posted, but if I absolutely poof for a week or something, then that's what happened. And if I'm on Skype and I'm not talking to you, it means I'm in voice. So, aren't you glad, Church of Kali, that I'm so sick of typing because you got a long rant to... <laughs> for, for your long rant. Well, alright. But you got a great channel going. Um, very interesting thoughts on a lot of topics. Uh, keep up the good work and know, blah, 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 blah. come on brains, know thyself.